Uh, this DJ Khaled, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, John Legend, Friday is his name, Jay Z. Like everybody's talking about. Like the album's not even out yet, and everybody's talking. Yo, Frazier, I don't know. I felt offended being up at NY, <laughs> and everybody talking about this verse. We had to take. There was no links going out, so we had to come to the source. <laughs> we had to take a flight, man. Guru, no links, no Guru, links. At Guru, all. Guru in the building. Guru was there when it actually. Hold like, on. You, yeah. you really said it all, cause, cause, cause you and Lenny S. Yes, and so, not for nothing, not against anybody else who ever hypes anything up, uh, but coming from Guru specifically, made a lot of people, myself included, sit up. Because you don't do that. You're there for all of them, and you don't always do this. Yeah, because I don't, I don't try to just hype it. First of all, I, I wanted people to hear it all the time, like all the material that we do. Yeah. But I guess I, it was just one of them things where it was just like... People think I'm still not amazed when right. when you when he walk in and do these verses. And this one was different because normally we'll sit down and he'll have you know we do a song, it's three verses or two or whatever, and he'll have a verse and then we figure out what the next. No, he walked in and this was completely. He's spitting the verse. To one me. take. He's lit one take. He's literally asking me, "Google, put the beat." I'm like, "Cal didn't send me the beat. You didn't send me the beat. Send me the beat." So then he sends me the joint and I started trying to loop it. And I was just, he was just like, no, 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 hit Cal and get the whole instrumental. Mm. So that he could spit the whole verse. I didn't know he had almost four minutes and how many bars <laughs> yeah. or whatever ready. Right. So I'm just in amazement watching him do this again at 52 years old. It's like I've never stopped being amazed. That's why I tweeted because it's just what? like, yo, I don't really want to have a conversation after this. This is supposed what? to expose Wait, put me, put me in that moment, though. Um, you do that. He walks out of the booth and then what? Just like, nah, there's no it, mic to drop. What, like, <laughs> it wasn't even walk out of the booth. The setup is, you know, like like it normally happens. Lenny or Khaled will hit me directly or sometimes both, and be like, "Yo, it's that time," you know. And I know what that means. And he's like, you know, Khaled was like, I gave him like five. Right. So I don't even know if Khaled knows which one he picked. Right. So my whole thing was like, okay, let's go. So I go in the studio. I'm waiting for him. He hits me. Yo, you're the stool? Yeah, I'm here. Let's go. That was it. Mm. He walks in and starts saying it to me a cappella. And I start catching the lines. And I'm just mm. like, oh, man. Like, you going to let this out? Right. Because there's some things in here that I've personally held for a long time. Mm -hmm. Things that I feel as though I'm not qualified to say. Mm -hmm. That I know information that's not supposed to be out to the world. And I was just like, it's up to them to tell their story their right. way. That's how I felt. That's why I put the tweet out because I was just like, you got to realize that everything being said in here is a fact. Right. It's not aspirational no more. It's aspirational as, as um, trying to give it to other people right. or where they could go, possibly right. go and knock down a door. But for him, everything he told you came to light and everything in this is a fact. Right. Well, and, and my, my perspective was a little bit different. For, you know, you my man. Mm -hmm. Frazier was like, all right, if Goose said it, it got to be true. I'm saying here, like, man, I hope they not selling us no bullshit. No, I was like, like, I was on my phone. I was like, man, I hope they, yeah. dog, I, I hope they ain't selling us no bullshit. He's trying to push a new collab. So, well, you know, just work so, so, you know. so I, I, I had to come down here myself. I got to hear for myself. But, you know, I think you're right. I think what I get out of the verse, and we're going to get into lines, but I think about it in hip hop and in, in our culture, right? And, 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 the however many years, you know, we're coming up on the 50th year of hip-hop, right? And how we're blazing new trails and hip-hop being aspirational in mm -hmm. a lot of ways and expression, right, for our people. And you think about a record like Special Ed, I Got It Made, right? Mm -hmm. and, and what were the aspirations to have a Honda school to like 74, <laughs> right? Like, like the ball was real right. low. Well, like, just to own a percent. Right? Yeah, just to own a percent. <laughs> just to own a percent. No, but keep it right, just to own a percent. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was the aspiration when we were coming. And that's who we looked up to, right? Coming Absolutely. up. Um, and I think what this verse gives us is, is not aspiration from Jay's perspective, but actualization. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. this is what it actually is. Yeah. And then and then kind of what you were saying. And then in turn gives, because I don't know that a billion was possible. We didn't know that was possible nah. for us. Nah. And now we've seen somebody do it. Yeah. You, you think about older lines where he's sort of talking about how many millionaires I'm making? How right. many years ago that was? I, I, I forget the exact year. It might have been. Let's like, go. It, yeah. it had to be 2013. So it's pound cake. I made more millionaires than the lot of them. Yeah, 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 that line. So, yeah. so, and then we come to this verse, and he's talking about. Look, I'm, I'm gonna pull the exact line. Um, 
How many billionaires could come from Hov's crib? Jumped up a few brackets. I count three, me, Ye, and Re. Bron is a rock boy, so four technically. Right. Like, like to go from, because that's a flex. It's like, yo, I didn't make a million. I mean, I made a million, but I've also made millionaires. Right. And then it'd be like, yo, in my family, in my camp, the thing that we built has also spawned billionaires now. It's not just me by myself. Right. And it's the trickle down effect. Like but that goes back to to album one, right? Nobody could fall if everyone could be each other's crush. Nah, absolutely. That, and, and you gotta remember too, the way that you bring it in is to say Hove did. So as many times as people theorize and talk about where us as a community, where us as black people, which way do we get there? We argue about all these different things. To see somebody that's actually doing it is different to coach from the sideline. Mm. So when you actually doing it, Hove did. How many billionaires could come from Hove crib? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I count three. Nobody touched the Billy before Hove did. Right. right? I count three, me, Ye, and Reed. And, and Bron's a rock boy, so that's four technically. Right. So that sort of thing is like explaining to you, you're seeing it in real time. And, and no matter what you judge it as, I'm actually doing it. You're critiquing it, but I'm doing it. Right. Nah, it, it's... A but, and then, then to go on to, because as the verse goes on, right, mm -hmm. like, and, and, and what I love, obviously, Ove is, um, just this beacon, like, 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 he's whole, he's cleaned up now, he's made it, he's at the mountaintop, or at least what we perceive as a mountaintop, I'm sure he's looking at another level, mm -hmm. um, but you, you all, you all, for you got here, right. like, like, he doesn't at the same time shy away from his past, and when he says, um, I left the dope game with my, with my record clean, mm -hmm. I turn cocaine into champagne, like right. it's all. And there's a lot of monogram talking here, like the 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 legalization of drugs, the things that people like Emery, like Biggs, mm -hmm. and countless others did time for. Is legal now. He said so. So just the balance of the talk of yo, we don't get it twisted. This came from cocaine. This came from the hustle. But you gotta really. Go back to what them lines are. So at the same time that this is a 52 year old giving you his truth, it's still fly because it's, I, I'm coming in with my record clean. Number one. So first of all, I didn't get arrested. Right. I made it through those traps. Two. My clean record. With the first time you heard me on the radio, it's a clean version of the record. Ain't no. <laughs> so that is what entered me into the game. That's right. allowed. That's what allowed me to clean all of this up. Right. Right. So then it's, it's clean up La Madrina with the same soul. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Can we speak on this? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? This is the blacked out documents. Right. Right. No, no, but, but seriously, it's, it's, it's him. And again, that's when you're saying, I'm going to go there. He went that deep. So it's just like, I cleaned up the godmother at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's also a reference to... A, a documentary that's out right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's talking about the Savage Skulls, which right. was a gang in New York. You know what I mean? A lot of us in hip hop were familiar with the Black Spades, but there was also Savage Skulls. There was a bunch of gangs. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that specific gang. It's a reference to that life and that time period of we come from that. Right. And I used this to wash all of that and make that clean, to get us in a good environment, get everybody's mind on what they're supposed to be doing. That's what those those lines are for. Right. But and and, and 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 again we talk about the aspiration like you know the dope shit about this verse too is even like his disbelief. Oh yeah. A, a bit when when he starts getting to now the weeds is in stores, can you believe this time? Like right. I put the hustle on the Forbes. Can you believe this guy? Like right. it, it it reminds me of um you know, talking with the Forbes figure that figure more because they forgot to account what I did with the raw. Right. And but that, even that, but even that is on one level where it's just like, okay, that's a dope line because if you're gonna count my money and I'm slickly telling you, it's kind of off because you forgot to account <laughs> for all the things. You, that you I forgot did to before. account for the things that we can't no, count. But this is, but this is, I deeper, can't claim this that. is deeper than that. Right. This is me telling you, Embry did ten for this. Right. Right. Now we got his ten back and went back like what the interest is. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's a lot of pain in this. That right. that that. that all the things that we went through, the fact that people was getting arrested for, for all of these different things, and we just took monogram and put it to where it's like, yo, people can actually buy a stock in this. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. 
Can you believe right. this Ty? Like he's talking to Ty Ty. Like yo, only Ty's gonna understand all the specific things you went through. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that we at this point right now? So it is unbelievable to a certain degree. If you look at any crew, I'm talking about from the history of it. Who has a crew that everybody wake up and do exactly what they want to do every single day? Right. Can you believe this? Right. If you look at Juan, Juan is doing exactly what he want to do in sports and all of that. If you look at Lenny, Lenny does exactly what he wants to do in management. If you look at Tata, Tata does exactly what he wants to do in making music and R&B. And by the way, some of the people that have helped to make are Rihanna. When y'all was talking nepotism and all this other stuff, the neos of the world. Right. When you look at Google, Google it up and mix records every day and teach. Right. Everybody that's, do. Do. that's exactly what I want to do in my life. Everybody does what they want to do at a high level. So that's the, can you believe this? I've spawned all these other things. So say what you want to say about it. This is what we did with it, actively. But, you, you know, so, and Frazier, you could jump in, right? Because we all see it. Like, the figures... That we celebrate the documentaries, the paying of fools, the movies, the the the, you know Frank Lucas, the the Alpo, Rich Porter, you know um, Nicky Bond, whoever, everybody that gets celebrated from a street life. The the story always ends death, jail, or you snitch. Some form of snitching. Who comes out of it? Like what he is writing, what he is saying, and how we came out of it. Like the villain wins. Tell you half the story, the rest you fill it in. Long as the villain win, like it's really the actualization of shit that he's been telling us. This is us where the narrow would be if right. he had turned back. And and I was, you know, I'll tell you specifically. This is one of the ones I will tell you. When he said that line to me, I was like, Juan was in the studio when he said it, and I looked at Juan and I was just like, I've never, I've held things like that for years. So when he hit that specific line of OG sold to those y'all call kingpin. Yes. If those are your drug laws, then who are we then? Right. It's not my business if I'm in a barber shop and somebody's talking about this person did this and this person. I would, you, I would yeah, never, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would never hear me say nothing. It's not my business. Yeah. But these are facts. So the fact that he wants to relate his own story and put it in perspective, I think you're getting something that you never got before. Where do you think that comes from? Now. Hmm. Like why now? It's always standing in your truth. Always. I can stand in my truth. If you look at the whole career, the career is standing in truth. So, I don't know who would say what, but the fact that I, I need to even at least explain this to you so that when you're telling all these other people that you name, right, let's realize where everybody is on a certain totem pole. I think that's that's part of the reason why. But if you look at his career, everything is the truth. The truth of where I'm at, at a certain time, yeah, it is Big Pimpin'. All the way to now I'm married with kids and it's 444. Right. And everything is love. You know what I mean? Sort of thing. Even to the degree that, like, Jay won't lie on a record. Right. He just won't. Right. Everything has to be his truth. He's not going to make up these elaborate stories. He's going to tell you his truth of where he is and his naturation over the years. And keeping in that truth is what allows people to sort of gravitate to it because they, they go through the same. It's either aspirational or you went through it. Right. Nah, it's amazing. And then there's certain things and, and, and the way and, and he does the certain things that we've seen on social media or that you could Google or, you know, uh, and Frazier, you right. caught this reference where we were talking about it earlier. Monogram in my pocket off the red carpet. Uh, you see the face I made? The Kelly Rowland. That's shocking. What's, what's fire about every when Jay's era now is that he comes through with a, a state of the universe almost. He <laughs> just goes down a checklist of, of shit, both topical, right? And and like actual like a meme that he was in whether or it's like shooting that phase on love but that's in the back pocket. Keep that tuck. Get to it when I get to it, but I will get to it. Mm -hmm. And that's everything from current events, maybe some slights, to something like a a, a red carpet meme which went crazy viral. Which it, also, not, it gives you a timing of of that you know that this is like like you said watching current events. And you can almost tell when this was written by the subject matter of what's in but it. But there's two things about that too, which is that one thing I always found interesting, especially for the era that he came up in, is Jay didn't really always... Like, there you can pick out the Jay bars about how often he doesn't smoke weed versus him rapping about weed. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's going to be few and far. So and this is that's a rarity in and of itself. It's just like, oh yeah, I was, I was blitzed on the carpet. Like, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, nah, that's crazy. And but it's also a commercial. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget our film. Don't I'm, forget our film. At the end of the day, it's a. It, it, I'm telling you what monogram is. So y'all may not catch certain things. So it's just like, you know, when he says the O3, y'all y'all keep the Zaza's OG for the OGs. Mm -hmm. and O3 is a strand of monogram. You know what I'm saying? It's monogram. setting it up. It's setting it up for things that we're gonna be putting in the marketplace later. And monogram on the red carpet for the movie that he executive produced. Abs absolutely. So the triple and double on times is always gonna be there. It's always gonna be there. But then, like you said, like even like that. That was like what, um, almost a year ago at this point. But like we talk, we want to talk current events. Like even addressing the meat beef, or the lack thereof. Or the lack thereof. Lack thereof. Yeah, exactly. That like that must have happened like a week before mm -hmm. this was laid down. Exactly. But just but just it's the thought process of somebody going, yo, I hear these little rumblings. Let me just dead this and but, squash this right now. Me and me could never have a beef. But 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 and, and obviously right that hits closer to home when you hear those rumblings because him and Meek have a real relationship. Um, but that's what amazes me how he gets time to be this amazing rapper. Obviously he's investing in his family. He's a billionaire, so you know, like, the business. But it's like, the dude don't miss nothing. Like, he, it's like everything, right? They say they don't know me internationally. This is on the road, dude. I see a lot of hove and gigs. Like, you, like, like, just addressing people be like, hove and gigs. So if you say, if you say, Yo, but he's only, Jay's big, only big in the United, United States, States. And they don't know internationally. First of all, <clears throat> you got to come off of other lines. So it's not just the setup of that. It's when you're talking about a whole culture in London. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's where you get the bloke line and you get the, you know what I mean? He's actually shouting out specific roads right. in London. <clears throat> so to say, like, you say they don't know me internationally, niggas on a road did. Right. Meaning, anybody that's never been to London, instead of saying I'm from the street, they say upon the road. Like right. it's on the road. That's one aspect of it. But it's also for like me, when you're on tour, you say I'm on the road. I'm on the road. So every time me, Goo, as Jay-Z's DJ, every time that I play out, it's 70,000, 50,000 people in there, and it's packed. Right. So on the road, they know me. But it's also because we in London, and I've been like bugging Jay about gigs since like 2010. Right. Like Jay is this dude, he's incredible. You know what I'm right. saying? That's what I love about our era. Like you can go back and watch interviews of me talking about him in 2010. Right. But it's just like, I see a lot of Hov and gigs. So if you know Gig's story and how he came up, it's like Hov peeping that and being like, yo, I see myself in him. But on a whole other level, I see a lot of Hov in gigs. We call a show a gig. So if you say they don't know me internationally, I see a lot of Hov and gigs. Right. Nah, man. That's the annotation breaking. I I caught that. But like... Again, too, right, and, 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 and the other thing is, is, is the spiritual part of this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, God did his album, Khaled's yeah. album. You know, Khaled start, uh, Jay starts his verse, Hove did. Mm -hmm. Hove, Jay Hove, was still a godly reference, recognizing, you know, 5% teaches the God, God, God within God you, damn hard. all of that. But, I mean, look, man, we getting into this thing. Genius, Jesus turned water to wine for Hove into the stove. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, so we, the spirituality, the... the, the, the well, hold the on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was happening hey, go ahead. in that Bible verse? This is People true. didn't have food. Don't mm -hmm. forget, it wasn't mm -hmm. just wine. It was fish that was right. made. It was loaves of bread that was made. So out of nothing, I made the food that fed everybody and right. I turned the water to wine. Right. So it's out of nothing, I feed everybody. Well, let, let, let's go water, back to... Because Google fucked me up with this one. I, I didn't catch it off the rip, right? But, um... These ain't songs, these is hymns, because I'm him. Mm -hmm. This is Psalm 151, it's a New Testament. Right. First this, of all, it's only 150 they songs. It's only 150 songs, so this is a... This is a new, this is a new add-on to that, right? Yeah. But the real level is just like, okay, impeccable wordplay because we're going biblical. Right, right, right. But the real, for me, the real, and this is my interpretation, mm -hmm. the real crux of it is, is us as leaders that are, that are, or trying to figure out where to go. And when I say leaders, I'm talking about thought leaders. Mm -hmm. We sometimes just rely on all the information that has been given to us. So we look at all the classic revolutionary things that we praise, right? We look at the Mau Mau, we mm -hmm. look at Che Guevara, we look at, you know, uh, revolutions in, in uh, Haiti, right? All of these things, and we try to apply all of these lessons that we learn to our situation now. And it's just like, hold on, how come nobody has written a new thing? Mm -hmm. How come when we talk about political... Um, ideology that we still only talking about capitalism, socialism, communism, 
What's the new ism that we created? Mm. Where's our thinkers? Where's the people that's you quoting me a whole bunch of things that happened 2,000 years ago? What did you write today? So this is also that point of saying, mm. I'm putting a new thought into this process. Here's, here go a new song. Mm. Here go a new thought. And you're watching me do it. This has never been done before. That's the whole... When, when Steve Jobs made the iPhone, he was looking at the research. He was like, you can't bring me research on this. It's never been seen before. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's not just looking back. It's taking... The point is to take what we had from our ancestors and to apply it now. Right. So you get to write new psalms. Right. That's the whole point. And the illest part about this, and this, this goes for several different meanings, but he's building on ideas that have been there for the last 10 years. Like, Rob, you started this talking about the made millionaires on pound cake yeah. roughly 10 years yeah. ago, right? That same year he did the Breakfast Club interview talking about being the first one over the frontier. Right. You go over the hill, you take the arrows, you run back, you tell everybody what's, who's shooting. Right. Mm -hmm. And now he's building on that that ethos, that idea still. And I don't complain when I take the arrows. Right. I think that's the biggest thing, too. I don't complain. Y'all send these arrows, we see them. And I don't complain when I take, you'll get it later. Right. You'll get it later. So to say, you know what I mean, um, first, you know, not as so layered, you get that, that, that instance where people overdig and apply the wrong things to this. Like when we talk about neck and wrists, mm -hmm. sob stories, I saw someone say, oh, that's a drive my car reference. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, like, not at all. You don't even have to know that the verse was made before the movie came out and popping, but just mm -hmm. th that that line is ill on its own talking about sobs, the drug dealer car, the this. Like you don't have to ascribe this to it too. Right, you right, yeah, take the yeah, right yeah. meaning from it. But it's also too. It's like sometimes when you do art, you just present your art to the world, and you can't help what people draw from it. Okay. So that's part of the conversation too. You know what I mean? I'm never I'm never super mad at that, but it's just like imagine again. If you had a chance to actually ask Picasso, what did he mean? <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So look at how many books, you know what I'm saying, have been written on what he meant. Yeah. But I get to actually ask Picasso, like, what did you mean when you did this? So did I actually know the real meaning? Uh, an another reference that might go over folks, that, and, but they're going to love this when they get it is, I mean, there's a 92 Bricks reference <sighs> in here as well. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the whole lore of Jay-Z and, and, and the 92 Bricks. From First the of all. One thing, I've, I've just been wondering, <laughs> when I look at Khaled and Jay, like, did Khaled find the 92 bricks? Like, Jay does not give verses to this many people that he's giving Khaled. Like, what is Khaled's secret? No, it's not a secret. He works hard. Like, no, 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 no. Let's get this, let's, let's get this straight. For all those people that be like, what is the secret to Khaled? No, he works hard. He deserves it. He's constantly, like pushing and working and like those people that are like oh it's so simple all Khaled does is this well then do it yeah. if you if, if you think what he does is simple then do it no yeah. it's not that simple to do it's not that simple to build trust it's not that simple to be able to be that connected to that many artists and to run businesses and there's nobody in the world that ever comes back and be like yo you know what Khaled did bad business with me right. never right. right you've never heard that right how many times have you heard that from a million different people? Right. These are the reasons why he can get that. You understand what I'm saying? Look at the, look at how monumental the things they are. I don't know how many people that sit in a room of silence like this can come up with wild thoughts. Right. If you can do it, right. it'll change your life. Right. So when you're talking like that, that don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of us that sit in the room. I'm one of those people that sit in the room and try to make the best music, the music that will connect to the most people worldwide. It's not that easy. Yeah. I could rap for me and my friends, but like, come on, man. Like, that's a that's a ridiculous point that people try to come up with. If it's so easy, then do it. Right. I, I mean, you know, even think about God did me in his 13th album. Like, he Kyle is an artist in his own right, but you think about just like the biggest artist in hip hop. Like, how many really have 13 albums? Like, right. Jay. I can think of one. Like, nah. It's like, you can kind of count them, like they're all kind of legendary and, and relevant. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they, they are not to diminish yeah. the pioneers that. That are still making music, but but to to be on number thirteen and still be relevant, relevant yeah. like in, in a mass scale. Or in Jay's crazy. case, to be like to have literally the whole culture, the whole community is anticipating. Yeah, this I, one and then verse. you perform. Now people can anticipate it, but did you perform at that level? Yeah. You go to see the Mike Tyson fight, yeah. and he knocked him out in thirty 
seconds. He yeah. knocked him out in 90 seconds. He's performing at the level that you have come to expect him to perform at over and over and over. And we running victory laps and still performing at that level. And and that and that and that's what this is. Like again, I, I told you when when you and Lenny put that shit up, I'm like, man, I hope they not bullshit. Nah. Like I definitely like obviously like but to think about being 52 years old and to spit a verse like this, mm -hmm. um, which could potentially be the best verse in your career, but it's in that conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like, like it's a different level that you're operating at. It's amazing. Again, in hip hop, we've never seen it before because we were taught that this is a young man's game, a young woman's game, and and there was even no blueprint. Even when we talk about this this blueprint part in the pun mm -hmm. or getting over the hill of being a, a billionaire and how to put your people on and how to make other people around you rich, there was no blueprint for that before Jay and hip-hop. Hip there was also was no young. blueprint, right. Hip-hop itself was But young. there was no blueprint on how to be dope at 52. Like, what's it right. supposed to look like? Am I supposed to grow my dreads out and supposed to be get yourself. pink dreads or, or whatever? Nah. No, you're supposed to right. be yourself and be grown man. So that's the whole point. But to answer your question, is I'll take it as far as I can and then we shall see. Right. And so I'm going to push this as far as I could go. We only got so much time on this planet, mm -hmm. right? Nobody's designed this. We get to design it. We get to go as far as we want to go. So I'll take it as far as I can, and then we shall see. Somebody else is going to come up, a younger, there's going to be a billionaire at 30 years old. There's right. going to be a billionaire at 25 years old. There's going to be somebody that does that. It's the same way where you set the trend before, and somebody's going to come behind you. That is the entire point. You know, you know what I, I can't wait for, because you just know how the internet does and, 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 and the resurfacing of the Farrakhan, Mike Wilder. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Just because the oh, reference yeah. of this verse, oh, yeah. you know what Jay, you know, forgive me, that's just my passion talking. Sometimes I feel like Farrakhan talking to Mike Wilder. <laughs> right. In a white hole. I think y'all should keep quiet. <laughs> like, so that, but that you got to remember that that's coming off of the goat line. Right. So, so the next time we talk and go, I feel you donkey should keep quiet. Right. Then it's like, I went too far. You know what? Forgive me, that's just my passion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Farrakhan talking to Mike Wallace. So it's, it's that classic reference. And, and what I did come to learn through being an instructor and a teacher is that some of the things that are normal to me, everybody hasn't seen. A 30-year-old may not remember that interview, but it's just like, you know, it's, it's Farrakhan talking to Mike Wallace, and Mike Wallace is asking him about corruption in Africa. And he's like, how right. dare you? This country's 30 years old. They're dealing with these problems and that problem. You just recognize me as a man. Right. Back in the, <laughs> back in the 60s. Right. 30 years ago, you just recognized me as a man. How dare you make this... <laughs> this moral judgment on what's going oh, on. Oh, man. Yeah. So it's, it's him getting into his emotion, and then he calms himself down. He says, I'm sorry. You know, I got... Yeah. I got yeah. emotional. You know what right. I'm saying? Sometimes it's just my emotion right. talking. But what he's saying, I feel like you ain't in a position to really say nothing. So I feel like you should keep quiet. Right. That's to them other MCs. Now, this is me talking. Right. <laughs> just for clarification. Just for clarification. This is me talking. This is specifically to people who are other MCs who have tried this. You've, you've stepped foot onto the court. And you didn't come nowhere close to what he's done. But yet you got everything to say about his whole career. So it's, it's, it's the rush leaning to those lines that right. they tell you how to do it, they never done it. Right. But when it comes to this, when we talk goat talk, I think you should, think you should keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and look, man. And that's the, the, what, again, that's talking. we're talking about how he is improving every step of the way still in the same sense of I remember a verse he gave Ross, 2014, all these niggas talking king, but I'm still at. And now the the... the the essence of that line has just been mm -hmm. fine-tuned into something even more disgusting. Nah, it's, it's crazy. Look, man, I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. And again, to me, Hov is the GOAT. Um, absolutely my favorite artist. Um, but, you know, like I said, when I seen, seen y'all tweet them things, I just like, man, I hope they ain't yanking my <laughs> chain, man. Like, I hope, and, and I know you, and you wouldn't do that. If you didn't yeah. feel that, you wouldn't have done that. But I was like, man, I hope it's that. Because it's big talk coming from, from, from guys like you. So me and Frazier had to come down let me, here. Let me ask Goom something. So, what's, I mean, so what you think? What's the verdict? Oh, nah, it's that. It, it's, it's absolutely, I think it's everything, again, and I draw it back. I think it's everything we love about hip-hop and this culture of ours, right? And, and really speaks about the evolution as we're coming up on 50 years of hip-hop, right? Mm -hmm. Again, I used the special ed reference and being aspirational, and, and you brought it out. Special ed just wanted a percent. 
Mm -hmm. And what Hope is talking is like, not, yo, we can have more than that. Absolutely. We can do more than that. We could be bigger than that. Um, but and that shit is dope. So I like, I want to see where we're going to go for the next 50. Who's going to take it past Hope? That's my thing, mm -hmm. right? Like, uh, eventually there has, it's going to be a, a retirement. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who, Who comes after know. him? We never know. So here's a, here's a great point. If you if you are admitting that you're seeing things from Hope that you've never seen in hip hop before, right? Right? And you look at the greats in music. Just let, right. let's let's go um, beyond. I don't want to say above because nothing is really above. It's right. just different spheres. If you go outside of hip hop, Michael Jackson absolutely did it to death. Right. James Literally. Brown did it to death. I didn't want to get that. Literally. <laughs> no, no, but I, no, no, <laughs> so no, we celebrate. No, no, it's not. Right, 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 we right. celebrate those artists because right. what we're saying is their Prince. talent. They kept going. Did Prince did it to death. They kept going, and it's in them. The point being is that it is who they are. They're right. going to naturally make right. music, whether or not it's on the top of the charts or whatever, whatever it is. Their creativity will not allow them to not make music. Right. So. If that's who you are, you was who you was before you got here. Right. So you're going to continue to do that. But with Hove, if you know that it's conscious, you could possibly see somebody. Now it's not so crazy that if I tell you, you know what, when he's 60, he's still going to be spitting bars right. like that. That's, um, that's not that long. That's not that far. Not that far. Right, that's not that far. And, and, I was and judging time, from this. Like, I was trying to get dark. Like you but know, also, I, want to, I want to lead that into you asking something and, and throw the goat's words back at him because he mm -hmm. said, I remember Rory did a post or a video about something saying that Ho was saying, yeah, I'm getting better. He is getting better. Do you feel that way? It's a someone... men, yes, because it's a mental sport. So what you're talking about is a mental sport. And you've been training and working this muscle so long that now it's so strong that you can figure out different dexterity that you may not have done before. Right. So it's a mental sport. It's not something where you physically have to do something. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like... When you play a sport, you know what I'm saying? The great as LeBron is, when he's 60 years old, he's not going to be able to run up and down the court with a 20 year old. Because there's, there's, physicality. there's physicality there. So when it's a mental sport, it's just about what does your mind think? If you have writers, people like an Amiri Baraka can write a book and poems until the man passes away. He can give commentary on the world until he passes because his mind still works. So with Jay, it's the same thing. You can see that almost until this man passes away. Right. But but I, I still and again just just knowing just thinking about the evolution we were talking about Rakim earlier mm -hmm. like Rakim and and, and Rakim is Rakim I don't, this is not to be little but was the Jay Z of his day was the pinnacle of mm -hmm. oh like think about when you first heard Follow the Leader and you were like oh it doesn't get any better than any this better than Rakim. it doesn't get like we like that this is it right. and the ball keeps going and and. and you know, I don't proclaim to know Jay in that way, but I think there's an excitement of continually raising the bar. I think Jay would be happy to see somebody surpass that. He At always, some point, it's not blocking that. It's he, like, go ahead, go get It's here now. Go get it, because I'm still competitive. It's, I'm not going to lower it he has for you. Where he has it's no, here no, no, now. I'm go not, get I'm it. Not, I'm never going to lower it. But he has lines where he says, go further than me, be better than me. Yeah. If not, then why bother? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, the whole, but, but again... It's not just a lyric. If I set up a whole world where, okay, artists was getting jerked. Now I set up a management company, right? And we're going to make sure that you get every dollar that you deserve, not only in hip hop, but in sports. And we've been through these situations and I'm going to teach you how to live on every level that you want. Okay. They out here streaming our music for whatever. You know what? I need a competition. Let's create title. You know what? Um, we have so many creatives and black directors and black writers and all these other people. You know what? I'm going to get into this movie thing. One of the dopest people that I know is James Samuel, so let's put out this movie. And let, I'm facilitating every single way that I see creatively for us to reach that and for the, me to reach down and to reach new generations. Do you know how many people are on set that are grips and doing lights and doing camera angles and studying that? Me and James have conversations about how did you get this shot in the mirror without the camera being in it and da, da, da. This is what I'm talking about. All of this is facilitated by Jay. For yeah. Guru, to be at a school right now where we have an MTEP program, music technology, entrepreneurship and production, and it's not just a certificate. This is you getting a bachelor's degree from Long Island University. Right. Jay set that up. Right. Guru, this is your love. This is what you do. Go do this. Go do it. That's hard. This Ooh. is what I'm talking about. It's not just... It's not just verbiage, it's not just talk. It's how to actually set that up. That's that's godfather mentality. Absolutely. Um
this is one of our favorite Jay Z's. There are different Jay Z's, right? Mm -hmm. Like neck and wrist was so fly to me because it's a J it's that flossy Jay Z over the mm -hmm. slow beat. And it's not it's not always about like the 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 intricacy of the rhyme pattern. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. slick talk. Mm -hmm. But this state of the union showstopper verse, I feel like we get that from him every few years. If you the drug dealers anonymous, you get what's free, and this is like the most extreme IMAX version of that. I'm still in that state of the union because I think I think that's a perfect description of, of what he does when he downloads sometimes. But it's also um, a state of the union associated when you said this is the Jay Z we like. Right. So at the same time that you have this maturation, you have this mature, you know, human being. This was the reason why on 444 that we came back and let the ego come back. You know what I'm saying? On band. So if we had this this thing where we set up Kill Jay Z, and I've said this before, but it's just like that's us and our mature. Like yo, I can't be in my 18 year old mindset anymore. Right? The person that would have jumped and jumped over the bar and did all start the fight. I'm not that person no more. But I can't go so far that I lose my ego because my ego is what got me. Was who you was for you. Let, 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 let me let me say this and, and this is like I'm gonna make it shut. There we go, there we go. That's what I mean. Can't make this shit up. Yeah. But I mean whole verses have triple meanings and everything, but first of all we gotta come back to the wordplay. Right. Guru, I I didn't even catch this shit at first. He said, "What the the mud and the face so, mat?" So he's come. You gotta you gotta go to the bar. And everything again ties in. So he's saying about Emery. He's right. talking about Emery. But um, got it out the mud. They gotta face you now. You can't make up this shit. So one on one level is like, okay, we got it out the mud, like out the dirt. And you know Emery's backstory of him of going to jail, him taking the charges, him taking the time. Right, but when you get a facial, what are you doing? You cleaning, you cleaning your face. You know what I'm saying? You taking away all the bumps, all the bruises, all the scars, the little blemishes. You get a facial. What do they use to do the facial? The mud. Uh. But out the mud, they got a facial now. They can't make up the shit. So it's the makeup on the face, but also with the facial, uh. right? With the mud, it's basically saying you can't make up. You can't come to me with a face done being fake. The makeup is not really your real face. It's not just for women. Men come with makeup on too. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Not in the physical sense, but in the face that you're making, in the way that you're presenting yourself. You can't fake to me. Why? No, because I got jealous. it out the mud. I done seen it all. So they got to face trait. you now. Your ambition, the thing that you, you know what I'm saying, went through your whole life. Now these people on the street got, and look at the result. Paper planes, monogram. This is directly to Emery. Right. This is why this is why Emery's my guy. You know what I'm saying? And Jay's talking about it. You got a facial now. They got to face you now. Right. And you right. can't make up this shit. Right. So it's like it's not even triple on. It's almost a quadruple entendre. Right. Don't even it's one ask my, me how. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's one of my favorite lines because it's just like yo, all of that leads, but it leads into coming off of why. You know what I'm saying? The Emory line is there from the beginning of why do, do you even believe this? Right. Of where we are now. It's one of right. it's one of the it's one, it's so understated and because people will do what they normally do. Jay rhyme on three different levels. Right. He'll rhyme on a level that's common level. Mm -hmm. The people that's oh it's the entendre, they'll be like, oh, it's on this level. Then there's a crew level. Right, just the personal shit. That where where you'll never know what Juan's real street name is, right. but I gotta tell you that that's who he's talking to on this particular thing. Right. Right, but then there's a level even above that, so it's just like that one is almost four levels. Yeah, and he's been on that with Emery, and it goes back to the shock and awe, even with him. Like, yo, like he's surprised in the verse, but even when you look at the neck and wrist verse, like a lot of that is dedicated to Emery showing what they're doing with with mm -hmm. monogram and and All and that was ease of felon. Right. Yeah. So now nah, it's, it's still it's still the same thing as right. as new new planes getting broken in. Right, well, what she says on here. So, yeah, so so it's like it's literally paper the, planes, the brand. right? The paper brand. Planes. So right. new clothes, like when you try new clothes, mm -hmm. you breaking in your clothes. Shout out, but, okay, then. but that's Emery. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's Emery's thing. Paper planes getting broken in, right? But he says new planes getting broken in. So we can think about paper planes, but we could also think about planes of you know, uh, yeah. let's let's be. Honest and realistic. This man just ordered a new plane. Oh, see, my God. God. See, that, see, that's okay. the information. That, but that goes back to the crew level. <laughs> yeah. That's a crew of, level. Of, like, I wouldn't know that phrase. That's the man that's, just ordered a new plane. Just put the hat down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just put the hat down. But then it's new planes getting broken like new in. New ground. I'm breaking in new ground. New I'm levels of yeah. existence. Yeah. 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 Now we need the plane order transcript to come through tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>